of one, it is me again, Avio here. So, sometime yesterday, apparently, this appeared. Remember those live streams that I did when I was detailing the return of, uh, of Fusion Fall? And I'm doing this at the fourth wall. I don't know why it's out there, but... Yeah, remember those live streams that I did? Detailing, uh, Fusion 4 Retro's development, etc, etc. Well, almost a year later... Um... Almost a year later... Here comes the actual launcher. Apparently, this is actually the multiplayer test. Apparently. I'm not quite sure though, but from what what they say on the news and updates, it's multiplayer testing. Holy crap. Yes! There's no, there's no full screen on this apparently. Actually, yes, there is. Hello? It is I, Dexter. Can you hear me in there? Thank you for volunteering for this important time travel experiment. I'm going to need you to input your profile into the system before we begin. Stand by and I'll bring it up on your monitor. So it begins actually very similar to the uh, beta or alpha thing. Let me pick my own. I'm not going to do things Azriel related nowadays because, well, this is my game. It's, it's not a game that Azriel played. It's a game that... Well, I play. So I'm gonna type in like you know because I for some reason like being the female in video games because well it's a cool way to break video games and plus also a badass female that's amazing. So let me just that's not hypo that that's my Sonic Forces custom character at least for the PC, huh? There is a full screen option. Good. Okay. Myco my Mako It's Japanese. Maiko Kitiosha. Or Kitiosa. I don't know how to spell that. I I know you had to have like first and last names, so I just made up a last name, and it sounded Japanese kind of. Okay, so sixty-two or whatever. Actually, how about we make this like I I haven't actually showed you that character from the PC version of the Sonic Forces. I'm not going to because Sonic Forces. Well, it's Sonic Forces and Sonic Forces. Oh, there's no unrealistic skin option. I want my actual gray. Like, I seriously want my actual gray. I don't know why I'm just... Making a character from Sonic Forces and Fusion Fall because Fusion Fall is a lot better than Sonic Forces, even though it's years older like many years older. That appears to be good. I mean, there's probably some clothes that I actually really want, or Actually, no, all of them just seem to be generic. Oh, there we go. That's something. 
Oh, there's no gray jacket in this kind of fine blue. Excellent. Bio scan is complete. Let's make sure your communicator is functioning. All communication systems are functional, Dexter. I will be able to reconnect with the volunteer upon arrival in the future. Affirmative. <laughs> All right. I'm powering up the main engine now. You may feel a little bump. Okay, I was a bit confused there. Um, there was two running. Apparently. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to remake the character now. Oh no! They actually got the character saving to work! I mean, it's not approved yet, it's just player 3863. Scan is complete. Let's make sure your communicator is functioning. All communication systems are functional, Dexter. I will be able to reconnect with the volunteer upon arrival in the future. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, I'm powering up the main engine now. You may feel a little fun. DD? Wow, are you seeing these readings? A fine day for science indeed. Prepare for launch. Ooh, Three, what does this two, do? One, DD! No! Gosh darn it, Dee Dee. I always, like, hated Dee Dee because she's stupid. Error, you have been sent much farther into the future than Dexter intended. Watch out! <laughs> Holy cannoli, where did you come from? Not now, number five. We gotta move. Follow us. Dude, that's the thing about Fusion 4 Retro. Initiate. Training. I know. Please move the mouse to the right to look good. Excellent. Very good. Use the W A S and good to move backwards. The thing Press about the Fusion the Fall Retro Very is that good. it's supposed to be. Uh... While moving, you can steer left and right by oh using gosh. the mouse to jump. Oh my gosh! We be quiet. To jump forward, hold the W key while jumping. Please jump on I'm pretty ground. sure everyone knows how to jump. I mean, it's been a mainstay in games since the game first existed. But, um, the thing about Fusion 4 Retro is that Retro is supposed to be a one-to-one -one recreation of Fusion Fall, exactly how it was. Um, to oh jump, my god. Space bar. To jump forward, hold the W key while jumping. Please jump onto this ledge. Fine. Then at number five. But it's supposed to be how it was a long time ago, like about when the game first released. With some bug fixes here and there. Legacy is supposed to have an entirely new everything. I want Legacy because the animations look jank. To jump, press the space bar. <gasps> And seeing as it's an MMO, you just kind of click. You can tell how much damage you are doing by looking at your target's health bar at the top of your screen. Woohoo! Nice work, guys! Those creeps turn back into fusion matter when you beat them. Make sure you collect as much as you can. It's real important stuff. You will automatically collect fusion matter from defeated enemies. The amount of fusion matter you have is displayed in your fusion matter meter. As you defeat more enemies, your fusion matter meter will continue to fill up. Oh, escape is... So where is the option menu then? Warning, more hostiles incoming. We got more company. It's a Cyberus. Let's take him down. I did not mean for this to happen. Disgusting fusion spawns are wrecking everything! 
Yuz's monsters have evolved and adapted to our planet. You should see some of them. They use things called terrafusers to infect everything with goo. If the infection gets bad enough, planet fusion will absorb our world. Now that you're up to speed, can you go help number two? We gotta go help the others. Okay. I need some help with a super important mission. Report to me right Hold on. away. Your communicator comes with a built-in mini-map. It will show you how to reach number two. You are the marker in the center of the mini-map. The red marker on the mini-map is number two. As you will, check your mini-map to make sure that you are going in the right direction. Note that you may need to go around large objects, like buildings, to reach your target. Um, I forgot what the options menu was. How do I go to the options menu, or am I just not allowed to do that? Hold on, let me actually restart the game. Oh dear god. I'm just gonna restart the game. Uh. Cause. I did not mean to hit escape. I thought escape was the options menu, but evidently it isn't. Well, that's strange. That must be some kind of loading bug, like some of the stuff didn't actually load the tactics correctly. Um... Uh-huh. Uh, remember, it is in like alpha or something earlier than that, or more along the beta. It's kind of difficult to get everything working, at least properly. Like, <laughs> okay, so it's loaded. Ooh, well, it's loaded properly this time. Oh God. Well, let's just watch those cutscenes again. Initiate training. Oh my Use god. Excellent. Use the W, A, S, and D key. Good. To move backwards, very good. While moving, you can steer left and right by using... To jump, press the space bar. To jump forward, hold the W to it. You can tell how much... Just gotta go fast. People have actually speed ran the um tutorial and they act front of which is to the uh actual future future using glitches i wish dodging was actually a thing in here i need some help with a super important mission report to me right away your communicator comes with a built-in mini map it will show you how to reach number two you are the marker in the center of the mini map Look for the glowing energy rings to help you find number two. Yeah, I don't know why. I I wish you could skip the tutorial, but you you actually can't. Um, yeah. To talk to number two characters with a mission for this attack was no accident. An oil ogre is using a transmitter to broadcast our position. We need to find that monster and get that transmitter. You ready? To, ex to exit the mission, the mission's current objective is displayed on your screen. Your first task is to defeat the oil ogre that's- I wonder how they even- Use your mini map. I wonder how they target. even got some of the original files. Like, I understand the models. There's a lot of models from the original game on, like, the VG resource or whatever. But, like, how did they get the original, like, map models? How did they get the original, uh, models and voice acting and shit? I mean, they did say that- some of the people who actually work on the original was working on this game. Though I'm not quite sure. Nice work. Bring that transmitter back to me. Since you have completed your first task, your mission journal has updated. To open your mission journal, press the enter key to activate your mission journal contains information on all your missions. It tells you who gave you the mission. It tells you what you need to do. It also tells you the reward you will receive once you complete the mission. Click the X in the upper right corner of your screen to close the journal. Your new task is to deliver the transmitter to number two. 
Note that your current objective has been updated and a new red marker has been set to number two. I have to do the tutorial before I can do any settings. Good lord. I wish there was a sprint button here because you move too far too slowly. Click on number two to talk to him. Like you move far too slowly in order to like justify the size of the world and a lot of the vehicles are late game. Characters with a mission to accept your reward. Click the close button. Ready for Nano? And I need your help. I think Dexter's in trouble. Congratulations. By successfully completing the mission from number two, you have to select Buttercup's mission. Dexter has disappeared. You've got to see if he's in the infected zone. I'll check out here. There's no time to lose. Click. The most infected areas on the planet are called infected zones. Thanks to Fuse's TerraFuser machines, fusion matter is totally out of control inside. Ha! Huh. Good thing Dexter set up energy shields to contain the infection. Your new task is to enter the infected zone to find that to use the warp gate. Target the blue deck spot. Well, I am trapped in fusion buttercup lair. Quickly, find the fusion portal. Use the floating platforms. You can enter a fusion portal the same way. Now, click the warp button to enter. Thank goodness you made it. I am over here. Come talk to me. Also, I like how there's actually no roof. Like, it's supposed to be a cave, but there's actually no roof because using lighting, you can actually make Unity stuff look like it's in inside. Select. It is you! I knew we would meet again. My stupid sister messed up the time jump sequence and destroyed the time capsule. We need to get you back to the past so you can save our world. Fusion Buttercup is in the next room. We must stop her before she can cause any more damage. Fusions are dark, twisted versions of this planet's heroes, created by Fuse himself. They are extremely dangerous, but I think you can handle it. Are you ready? Let's go! Gotta go fast. I don't think it's actually worth doing the, that one glitch, cause like, you got to jump, jump out of the map here, and it will load the later part of the game. Though you're not actually able to go into it, cause it loads into the area. But... Well, it doesn't actually allow you to land on anything. Congratulations! You have made your first nano! Like fusions, nanos are made of fusion matter. You have used the fusion matter you collected in your fusion matter meter to create Nano Buttercup. Don't be discouraged by her size. She may be small, but she is powerful. Your communicator is now a nanocon. It has the ability to store up to three nanos. Whoa! That does not sound good. You can escape the Dex Labs using the warp gate I have set up. I must search this area and make sure Fusion Buttercup did not steal anything from my headquarters. Go to the warp gate to exit the area. To use the warp gate, target the blue deck spot attendant and click on it. I like how it's just a particle effect right there. And also emitting a noise. It's not actually anything vibrating. I remember how Diff would always use the fail to lower on my old Windows XP computer. We can't hold Tech Square anymore. Get to the scamper. Hurry! Invisible walled off. There is actually also a glitch here that allows you to explore Tech Square future. Cause this is right now Tech Square. F well, yeah, Tech Square future, which you don't actually get to explore because it gets destroyed but um one of the developers actually made a video where you can jump up here and like jump across here i think they fixed it for this fort version but in the alpha you could actually explore future tech square which is up here because you only get to see future sector sector five and uh, text were past, and also the other stuff in the future that aren't destroyed. Nanos 
have power to use now that your enemy is stunned. Get to the scamper safely. You did great, but it looks like Buttercup and the rest weren't able to handle those other Terrafusers in time. Dexter says we gotta find Mandark so we can rebuild the time machine and send you back to the past. Let's get out of here! What the? Despite our best efforts, Tech Square has been lost. But this war is not over yet. Not by a long shot. Our time-traveling friend here is just the hero we need. Between Mandark and number two, I am sure you will be able to rebuild my time capsule. Don't worry about me. I will be fine. Get back to Sector V and to safety. Dexter, out. All right, everyone. Next stop, Hero Square Sector Five. V. Five. Roman numerals. Now. Oh my god. Let's dance. Let's dance. Hey, it's alive. Why is that a bad word? Escape button. Bane of my existence. Right. Full screen. Are you f okay? Uh, candy P. There. Now it's basically permanently full screen. Oh my god. And they actually gave us the hat. Cause um one of the like one of the things that was teased about was the or the new hat that's exclusive to Fusion 4 Retro and it's this exclamation mark hat that everyone has. It's freaking amazing. Actually, is there an inventory? Yes, yes there is. Yes, computers. Your nano set displays all the nanos in your collection. You can check on their power here. Goodbye. See how much fusion matter you need to get your next nano. Hold on, wait. I always like scaling the treehouse. Is there still that those springs there? Your nanocom comes with a map to help you get around. To open the map, hit the enter key. Oh my god, they're still here. From the main menu. You can also hit the M key. Oh my god. It's so cool because I haven't played this game in like years and well now it's not a laggy potato because well I'm using an actual computer instead of a toaster. But it's actually back. It, it's been so long and a lot of most well, cancellation scares. There, I think there is actually something on the top of the treehouse. Whoop. Because you can get up here quite easily, it's just that uh, it's platforming. I think this is also classified as the first ever platformer RPG. Because you do platform. Oh god, you platform. And fail a lot and don't know where to go. How did I get up here? I don't remember. It's been like sixty years. Okay, not that long. I'm not. I'm not sixty, but me still. Do you jump onto this? Yes, you do. It's a like a platforming challenge in its own right. 
And the physics of jumping actually feels nice, so it's not like you're gonna slide off for no reason. Though, I think there was actually a glitch in the, with the original, how the momentum works, where you could just piss yourself up against the wall and you would just fly upwards infinitely. But, yeah. This is, this is Hero Square, Sector 5. It's been so long, it's been like, years. I'm not even sure how much years it's been, that's how long it's been. Oh my god. Mind you, I found this out like, right now. Um... It's like, 3 in the morning, for some reason. I got up just so I can experience this coolness again. Right, so let me actually... I think there's a teleport system somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Right, I don't know where. Anyway, the Wii, because you don't have any fall damage. Wow. At the rate I fell, I'm like... freaking Mary Poppins. So the first mission. Incoming message. First mission: kill fusion spawns. You defeated a spawn and found some arrows. Arrows are the world's money. Use them to buy items from shopkeepers. Grim's resurrection will revive you in a nearby safe area if you get knocked out in battle. I forgot how crap the health was in, in level 1. That was, um... Ooh. That was a bit harsh, but... It's back! And I'm so happy! Cause it's back! Incoming message. A gravity decelerator. I think this is like still tutorial land. Whoops. Do you do you require admission? Mission accomplished. Best of luck. Talk to number two. Oh my god. Well, I'll probably do more. Um, if you all, if you all want, I will certainly probably be playing the game on my own time, because it's been so long, it's so cool! Anyways, that'll be it for this, uh, I suppose, time travel majig. Uh, so as I leave you with a shot of the Kids Next Door Treehouse, and also Glowing Number 2, that'll be it for this, and bye.